Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. T Rat Vlogs here. What's up, guys? We're coming to you from very rainy and very gloomy St. Louis Zoo today. Yes, I know, we've been to the zoo quite a few times. This will mark the fourth video from the St. Louis Zoo, but I just cannot get over how good our zoo really is. Like I've said before, it's one of the premier zoos in the country. It's free, even though you do have to make reservations at least until this Monday when they're going to be canceling that. So, it's rainy. I bet the crowds are probably going to be down today. So, let's see what the animals get up to on a rainy Saturday. Join me, guys. First order of business, we'll stop off here at the River Camp Cafe outside of River's Edge so we can have some lunch. What's on the menu for today? Let's check it out. We also have dinner guests. This guy saw my french fries and he is all about that life. Aren't ya? Yes, see? Say hi to YouTube. Thank you. All right, so I've got me some pulled pork sandwich. I get lots of sweet baby rays barbecue sauce some onion ring slices here, and of course some classic french fries. Let's see how it tastes. Sorry for the backlighting. Um, Mother Nature is not being very kind to me here with uh, lighting today, so dipping a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce on my fries here. Mm. I said it before at Cafe Kudu, and I'll say it here. The zoo's french fries are always so crispy. I don't know what they do to them, but they're so crispy and light and delicious. I'm here for them every time. So I can see why my starling friend here is eyeballing me for my french fries and his other friend too. You know what? You guys, go get it. Have fun. I'm gonna cheat and just have an onion ring raw here. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm, 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 mm -mm. here. You must. Of course, we've got Crystal here with us today and Brandy, she just turned away, there we go, she's here. Bob and some other company are going to be coming here a little bit soon, they're on their way, rain and everything like that, so yes. Fries amazing, onion rings amazing, let's see what this sandwich is all about. Alright, let's try this pulled pork sandwich, I'm super excited about this, here we go. Leave the Mr. Squirrel alone, he clearly does not like y'all. Pardon the mess, but whew. That was a tasty bite. That thing is slathered with sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. The pork is nice and tender. That is really good. Really gloomy start to the day, but that almost warms my soul a little bit. All right, not since Disney have I had a Dole Whip. Apparently the St. Louis Zoo has started serving them, so since it's been a few years, let's see how St. Louis does Dole Whips. This is the classic pineapple because that's what I got before, so let's see how it goes. Let me paint a picture for you. It's late October, Halloween season is in full swing, and we are in an area that's very reminiscent of Agrabah. Aladdin and Jasmine have just had their little meet and greet and a white rabbit is sitting at a table enjoying a delicious frozen pineapple treat. I have been transported right back there all over again. This is just sending me back to Disney with the flavor. It is frozen, it is fresh, it's creamy, it's refreshing, it's tropical. I needed this in my life. It's been way too long since I've had a Dole Whip and I am so, so glad I've got another one. Let's get to some animals. I'm on a mission. I'm here in the river's edge. I promised my buddy Lou some hippos today because he loves hippos. So Lou, I'm gonna try to deliver for you today. So let's see if I can actually provide this time for you. If not, I'm sorry, but we'll see what happens.
Well, Lou, we're at the hippo enclosure here, and I guess the uh, active weather we had earlier, there was a really bad thunderstorm that came through the area beforehand. I think they took the hippos inside to keep them safe, because all we have right now are dozens and dozens and dozens of fish, but uh, no hippos to speak of. So I'm sorry, Lou, but it looks like I have to disappoint you for two zoo trips in a row. Sorry, bud. Maybe next time. Well, it doesn't look like any of the residents are home right now. Uh, noticing this with the whole rain and storms we got earlier in the day, a lot of the animals are inside shelters right now because the thunderstorm we had this morning before we got here was pretty severe, even though no warnings popped up, but it was enough to kind of I cause some concern. I see them in the house. Oh, and they're in the house? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, we, got, we have some motion going on down over here. There's a little rope, somebody's in, oh, there, there they are playing, yeah. Yep, they're inside playing around today. Yeah, it's, it's not safe to come out here. When we went to the river's edge earlier trying to look for hippos and such, there was actually a tree down in the area, so they had to kind of close things off. In fact, they weren't letting anybody else in. So when we got out of there, they were pretty much shooing everybody away. Maybe later they'll open it back up if they get the uh, stuff cleared out, but until then, this, I think, is the zoo that we're going to see for a while. It's going to be a little bit quiet. Not many people, but also not many animals. But you know what? It's interesting to experience the zoo on a rainy day. Well, we got caught in a torrential downpour and we had to kind of come into the uh, sea lion sound here to take shelter for a little bit because uh, we got thoroughly soaked. Don't lose our crust! Ah! So, uh, yeah, let, let's see what the, uh, the wet folk are up to over here, huh?
check this out. Is there somebody behind me? I feel like there's somebody behind me. You ham. And he just comes over and starts talking to us. Having, having the time of his life. Look at that. And going. He's a good conversation holder. What can I say? Lou, I'm sorry, buddy. This is the best I could do for you. This is the only hippo that I ran into. Oh, that one and what, what, what's what's he? Oh, him's a shark, but baby no. Baby shark. Baby shark. Here, here's the hippo. Just just for you. I'm so sorry, Lou. I love you. Okay, Didn't bye. really get to film it because I had my hands in the water, but we just got done petting stingrays, and this was Crystal's first time ever petting stingrays. So, Crystal, what is your take on petting a stingray? It was neat. It was kind of slimy, but yeah, uh, there was bit. the little baby one. He was very aggressive. He was wanting some food and uh, didn't have any. But that's okay. And then he just kind of just little, psh, little flappy thingy. Yeah, he he was definitely this definitely splash. And he came by me a couple times. I didn't have my finger down far enough, so he come up and told me about it and slapped me a couple times. Like, hey, 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 pay attention to me. So yeah, that was, was pretty cool. it, pretty it was fun. Really cool. It's a uh, it's been a bit of a gloomy day here. Not quite as many animals as usual, but um, it's still been a pretty fun day. So let's see what else we can get up to, guys. Oh, we got ourselves a spitter here, ladies and gentlemen. Wait. This is Dinororus, what they turn the uh, children's zoo into. So let me see if I can sneak by without getting sprayed here. I did it! I survived! I didn't get sprayed! Yay. Look at this fella. Is he gonna spit water on us? <laughs> Alright, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Look at this fella. How you doing, buddy? Hey there! Well, thank you. You don't look so bad yourself. <laughs> These are the guys that attacked that little girl in the second Jurassic Park, isn't it? You're lucky I don't hate you. With oh this crap! Dish. And there's more too. <laughs> well, if this becomes found footage, just let everybody know I love them dearly. This is the last thing I saw before I went. Something I've never shown you guys before. This is the butterfly dome. So even though it's not raining inside, they sense it, so they're going to be stay close to the vegetation. So be sure to look up at the tree because inside the flowers, so they're going to hang out pretty close. Yes, they're very complicated. They can see the ultraviolet colors, so they see more colors than we do. They have high their skin and they're very complicated. I got a little dragon at home. I'm sorry. A little dragon at home. You can see more yellows and you can see all the colors. Do you have the a bearded dragon? Mm -hmm. I used to have one. She's like a dinosaur when we went to see them. Her name is Rose. <laughs> he stops every time when you do it. I don't know if you heard the uh, keeper in here, but she said because it's raining outside, they can sense it and they're staying near the trees and the flowers so they can seek shelter. Even though it's not raining in here, they still know that it is outside. How cool is that?
Wow. I got that beautiful hibiscus picture over there. Nice. Gosh, look at them all. There they go. They're just going crazy over here. Woo, hi. Come over to see me. Hi. Hi. Well, that's gonna do it for our little rainy trip to the St. Louis Zoo. While we didn't get to see all the animals we might have wanted to see, sorry Lou about the hippos, they just, they weren't out again today, bud. But uh, we did get to see quite a few things that uh, I didn't think we'd get to see. We even got to experience some things that I haven't gotten to do, at least in recent memory, like the butterfly dome. That was pretty neat, honestly. I really enjoyed that thoroughly. Uh, the food was good, the company was great, Hi guys! Got these guys sitting here watching us right now. So yeah, I took one more pass to the river's edge just to see if the hippos might have decided to come out, but I think it might be too cold, definitely too rainy for them today, so no hippos, but that's okay. We still got to see all kinds of other fun things. Got stuck in the rain, but had that interesting experience with the sea lions, so really, it was a good trip out to the zoo. The crowd level was down, so it wasn't super crowded, and the weather could have been nicer, but honestly, I can't really be mad. I mean, it is Missouri. We get wild weather all the time. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it's like the fourth video for the zoo, but there's always something new to experience. There's always so much fun to be had. And we really do have one of the best zoos in the country. So I have got to show that off for you guys. So for now, that's really all I have to say about that. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon and take care. Bye-bye.